the mood there, it was pretty fantastic. It was very calm, very peaceful, uh, a, a lot of deep thought, a lot of solutions being put forth, a lot of really cool young people, some older people, but it's kind of a real, like it reminds me of the 60s when we all uh, kind of tried to do the exact same thing. Okay, now Roseanne, when I was in Tahrir Square in Cairo uh, during their protests, I noticed that their demands of the protesters were very clear. Now, uh, what are the demands of the Occupy Wall Street protests? Well, as far as I could tell, you know, uh, you know that people have made the connection between foreclosures, banks, war, and uh, but that's why I'm here, Max, because you said you had solutions, and that's why I followed you and tweeted you back, and I thought your solutions sound pretty brilliant, so I'm here. Uh, to ask you questions as well. Yeah, I saw you on Twitter. Uh, twi you were tweeting from the Occupy Wall Street. You were, you're down in the trenches. And uh, one of the tweets that you posted, uh, you said, Roseanne Barr, if corporations are people, uh, then Goldman Sachs needs to be executed for premeditated mass murder, terrorism, mayhem, and grand larceny. Yes, absolutely. Would this be your, your platform then, uh, running for president? It's part of it. Is the part of my platform is, of course, that the guilty must be punished, and that we can no longer, you know, ha let our children see their guilty leaders getting away with murder, um, because it teaches children that you know they don't have to have any morals, and as long as they uh, have guns and are bullies, that they'll win. And I don't think that's a good message. I do say that I am for the return of the guillotine, and um, that that is for the worst of the worst of the guilty. You're singing to the choir on this show. We've been advocating the guillotine for years now. Oh, well, fantastic. We think alike in, in many ways. I first would allow the guilty bankers to pay, you know, the ability to pay back anything over 100 million personal wealth, uh, because I believe in a maximum wage of $100 million. And if they're unable to live on that amount, then they should, you know, go to the re-education camps. And if that doesn't help, then be beheaded. Now, uh, we